Hi! For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt Reidenauer. For those of you who do already know me, you know that I'm really into tabletop RPG games, particularly Dungeons & Dragons. And that's mainly what we're going to be talking about in this video. This is going to be an intro to playing tabletop RPGs, such as D&D, and the basic concept. So if you've never played one before, this is perfect. If you have already played one before, we're, I'm going to be making some other videos. One of the uh, future videos I'm going to make is going to be about specifically for adults playing RPGs with their kids. A lot of parents have come to me over the years saying that their kids are really into D&D and they either don't know how to play or they feel that they don't really have time. That's not necessarily true. Uh, I'm going to give you a lot of hints to show you you do have time and it's really not that hard to understand if you have somebody to explain how it works. Uh, but this particular video is going to be an intro. So we're going to be talking about what is a tabletop RPGs, why are they so cool, and we're going to be talking about how do we start, the very basics. So what is a tabletop RPGs? Tabletop RPGs are really cool because they're a type of game where you get to actually make a character and be that character. You talk as that character. You narrate what that character does. You decide what they wear, what they look like, how they act, what kind of magic they cast if they're, say, a wizard, for example, or what kind of fancy ninja moves they can have if they're like an acrobatic type character. Uh, the point is you get to make the character what you want it to be. So uh, tabletop RPG games are more like stories than they are games in a way. It's more like a play or a movie or a story being played out in real time where everybody at the table gets to play their own character. Maybe I am Istrith, the wizard elf, and maybe you are Ragnarok, the barbarian human, and maybe someone else is Zalithra, the druid, and together this group will go through an adventure just like people do in movies, say Lord of the Rings, or what's that recent one, Onward, the movie about the two elves on the road trip in the van. It's kind of based on Dungeons & Dragons, actually. Uh, so the point is, it's more like a story that you're making as a group where everybody plays a character. Then, there's one person at the table who's called the Game Master. The Game Master doesn't mean they've mastered the game. That doesn't mean they're better at the game than other people. What that means is they're like the referee. They're like the interpretation of the rule book. They are the person who is crafting the adventure that the other few people at the table are playing. The Game Master is going to play all the characters that the adventure characters are going to run up against. If they go into a tea shop, the Game Master is suddenly the person behind the counter. If they go to a dragon cave, the Game Master is suddenly the dragon, or maybe all of its little kobold minions that lives in its cave, or whatever the scenario is. The Game Master gets to decide what world the story even takes place in. Maybe they made up their own world out of their own imagination with a bunch of unique monsters or maybe twists on monsters you've already heard of, like maybe dragons don't breathe fire in your world. Maybe instead they summon hurricanes. Just made that up. You can use it. There's a lot of different things you can do in an RPG game. The point is that you are the character. You get to decide what that character does. It's not pre-decided your limited options like in a lot of video games. Don't get me wrong, I love video games. But RPG games, you can decide exactly what your character is going to do in any scenario, and the scenario can change at the speed of imagination. It doesn't have to be pre-programmed in there like in a video game. Suddenly, if you do something and you make the volcano go off, that volcano just went off. And that didn't have to be pre-programmed in by a video game. That just happened. And it can react in real time as if it is a movie that was not even scripted in the first place. So, why are RPG games so cool? I probably hinted at this already. It's really hard for me to hide my enthusiasm. I'm really into playing Dungeons & Dragons and other RPG games such as that. But in my opinions, the reason they're so cool is because it, com it combines elements of games. It combines storytelling and fantasy and imagination. It is a platform for personal expression and creativity. And it's also, it's a world of open imagination. What's great about it is that you have the feeling of playing game because you have dice, you have your character sheet, you have 
a rule set that you kind of all sort of have to follow, but you're not really supposed to follow. The but the reason that you don't have to necessarily follow the rules so precisely in an RPG game is because the story, in my opinion and a lot of people's opinion, is way more important. And so the rules bend for the story because that's actually the point of the game is more of a storytelling platform. Also, I mentioned personal expression. If you make a character, you get to put an aspect of yourself, and it could be an exaggerated version of yourself. The point is, whatever kind of character you're into or would like to imagine being, you can emulate that. You can be that in D&D. Another really interesting aspect about tabletop RPGs and Dungeons & Dragons is all the things that you can intrinsically learn from the game with no real effort. The game automatically involves huge aspects of critical thinking, math, reading, decision making, uh, social lessons and communication skills. Also, RPG games are built as team building activities. You are automatically a team of adventures, you automatically have a common goal, and you automatically strengthen the group dynamic just because you went on a fictional adventure together. It's also a bonding moment. Friends of mine, We'll talk for years about things that happen in RPGs, inside jokes that happen in the game table and they become inside jokes in real life, or fictional places we explored, or characters we met, or a story that we built together. It's, it's hard to explain, but it, it's more than a game. It becomes so much more fun the more time you spend at it. So, where do you start? A good place to start is to decide who are you going to play the game with. Maybe it's the people you live with. Maybe it's neighbors that you're currently visiting. Maybe it's friends that you can communicate through technology. That's another thing to remember in RPG games, tabletop RPG games, you don't actually have to be at the same table. I recently read that 75% of people who play Dungeons & Dragons technically play through Zoom or Skype anyway. Just FYI. Once you have your group figured out and you know who your players are going to be, decide which person's going to be the game master. A lot of times that's obvious. Sometimes somebody in a group is like, oh my gosh, I've already made up a magical fantasy world. I would love to make that into a game and I would love to have you guys be adventurers in that RPG story that we make together. If there's a person who automatically has that inclination, that person should maybe be your game master first. If not, then whoever has just kind of an ambition to start, the best way to start is just to, just to start. You're never going to really know what you're doing until you've already started. It's kind of like making videos. It's really weird at first. And then you just have to start and just keep doing it. The point is, once you start, it'll just kind of become natural after a while. The most difficult thing about starting an RPG campaign is the start. So, finally, to wrap this up before this video gets too long, I'm going to just mention the other videos I'm going to make in this series. This video you just watched was meant to be a vague overview of the whole concept of RPGs. The next video I plan to make is going to be for uh, adults specifically playing RPGs with the kids. A lot of parents have mentioned over the years, my kids are into D&D, but I don't have time and I don't understand. Well, that next video is going to be for you. It's going to make it easy and it's going to talk about how to make it fit into your probably busy schedule. I'm going to make a video called DIY D&D, how to play D&D for free. If you want to spend two, three dollars to have an extravagant experience, you can. But basically how to play the game for free. Uh, I'm also going to have one about choosing which RPG to play. So Dungeons and Dragons is the one you've all heard of. Pathfinder you might have heard of. It's a more complex version of D&D made by a different company. And then there's other simpler games. Not every game is made for every group. So if you have little kids, you might want to play a simpler uh, game. If you have teens, you might want to play Pathfinder. If you have anybody, you might just want to play Dungeons & Dragons because it's probably the best one on the market right now, to be honest. And then we're going to have a video about how to make a character and then one about how to be a game master so you could be fair and you can bring in a cool fantasy world for your friends or family members to play in. Because honestly, right now is a really great time to be playing RPGs. We're all kind of stuck at home, at least for a little bit longer. And this is a great, fun activity to do. Honestly, it's probably my favorite hobby to do with friends that I've ever found in my entire life. And I've done a lot of things. 
So until next time, I hope you are all doing well and I hope you're all having a lot of fun.